This video is for my law students. Uh, I'll be reviewing uh, and reading to you Meinhard versus Salmon. Uh, the case was decided in the New York Court of Appeals in 1928 by Justice Cardozo. And this is a corporate law case. Okay, what are the facts? Salmon, in this case, he's the defendant, leased a premise known as Hotel Bristol from a third party, Jerry, for about 20 years. Meinhard, uh, in this case, the plaintiff provided the necessary funds, so he was the investor uh, to Salmon, uh, to reconstruct, manage, and operate the property. So Salmon would operate and manage the property. Meinhard was the investor in the property. Uh, in exchange, Salmon would give Meinhard 40% and then he gave him 50% of the net profits. Uh, so you can see where this is a, a partnership. They also agreed to share losses equally, but Salmon would, would retain sole power to manage, lease, and operate the building. Uh, so the result was obviously a co-adventure or a joint venture similar to that of a partnership. However, near the end of the lease, Jerry approached Salmon on a reversion project in the neighborhood right next to the hotel. Salmon then agreed to enter in a new lease with Jerry, which would be owned and operated by Salmon only. So now we're talking about a different project in where Salmon would the only would be the only person in this new lease on this other project. Salmon did not inform Meinhard or involve him in the new project at all. Uh, later on, Meinhard discovered the new project and demanded that the lease be held in trust as an asset of the joint venture. Salmon, however, refused, so Meinhard ended up filing suit. The initial judgment limited the plaintiff's interest to 25%, so it limited Meinhard's interest to 25%, but the appellate court modified it to 50%. Salmon then appeals to the Supreme Court. So what's the legal issue? Was there a breach of loyalty between partners when one of the partners failed to disclose to the other of a business opportunity? So did Salmon breach his loyalty to Meinhard when he didn't disclose this new project as a business opportunity to Meinhard? The rule of law that should be extracted from this case is that partners owe a high duty of loyalty to each other and must disclose business opportunities to one another that relate or arise from the original joint venture. So legal holding is, yep, there was a breach of loyalty to the partnership. All right, and the reasoning in Cardozo's view, joint ventures, they're similar to partnerships or marriages where one owes to another the duty of the finest loyalty. So the famous quote from one of the two famous quotes from Cardozo is that partnerships are held to something stricter than the morals of the marketplace, not honesty alone, but the punctilio of an honor the most sensitive is then the standard of behavior. Salmon appropriated himself in secrecy and silence. Salmon on purpose excluded Meinhard from any chance to complete or join the new venture uh, with the intent to defraud him, at least in Cardozo's view. Because Salmon was the managing partner, he had a duty to disclose the opportunity since only through disclosure could opportunity be equalized. So remember that if Salmon wasn't the managing partner of the original hotel, he would have never been put in that position or had the opportunity to know about this other, this project that, that came about. So that's why Salmon had to give an opportunity or proper disclosure or full disclosure to Meinhard as well. As managing partner, Salmon had put himself in a position which thought of self was to be renounced. This is second, um, this is Cardoso's second famous quote from here. Again, as a managing partner, Salmon had put himself in a position in which thought of self was to be renounced. There was a clear connection between the old lease and the new one. A managing partner 
appropriating a new opportunity without warning his partner is fairly expected to be reproached with conduct that was underhanded. In the end, the number of shares given to be given to Meinhard should be reduced such that Salmon retains the power of control and management similar to the first joint venture. The new opportunity belonged to the partnership, not just to Salmon. And here's a picture of hotel. All right, I hope you found it useful. Uh, please like, please like the video if um, you would like me to continue to make videos like this. Thank you.